Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to Sports Performance and Mindset Reset. Today is going to be phase, or sorry, it's still phase one. It's going to be day three, week four. So we've been been progressing through this whole program. Today is our strength portion. So you do need to set up dumbbells. I do always recommend one lighter and one heavier. So that way you can kind of work through different rep ranges um, and also be able to um, push harder with the heavier weights once we start to, you know, at first and then move down to those lighter weights as, you know, our muscles get tired and, you know, 50, we're going to be doing 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of transition time today. So that's, you know, kind of working with the heavier sets at first and then dropping down those lighter dumbbells after. Um, I do have some things that we can do here without dumbbells if you don't have any, so no problem there. I'm going to go ahead and get started explaining everything we're going to be doing today. So we're starting off with some, we're doing a lot of upper body and lower body stuff today. And again, it's primarily strength. We're only jumping with one exercise, but we can always do that without jumping. So we're going to start with our dumbbells here. And we're going to do overhead presses. So dumbbells at the shoulders, pressing up overhead, back down. So just like that four overhead presses. And if you do not have dumbbells, you can do some pike push-ups. So you'll be in that pike position here, doing push-ups, bringing the head in between the hands, just like that. So that is the alternative for the overhead presses. And then after that, we're gonna do jump squats here. So you're gonna hold your dumbbells right at your sides in order to be jumping up and down. So here, jumping um, from this side, you know, making sure our knees are past our second toe butt is back, jumping as high as we can. And then after that, oh, my legs are tired. Okay, after that, we're gonna do bent over T's. So we're gonna have the dumbbells here and we're in the RDL position. We're gonna come straight out to the side and back down using those rear delts, feeling that right in the back of the shoulders. It's like we're punching the walls or the ceiling with our pinkies in that position. And then, we're gonna do reverse lunges with the knee drive. So we'll do all on one leg and then we'll do it all on the other leg. So coming down here, stepping back, driving the knee up to keeping that balance here, driving here. And if you don't have dumbbells for those last two movements, not a problem. You can just have your pinkies up without the dumbbells. And then with the reverse lunges, you can do those without the dumbbells. Up next, we're gonna get on the ground onto our backs. We're going to work on our chest a little bit. So we're going to do some floor presses. So elbows stay nice and tight, pushing the weight straight overhead and back down. So we want the weight to start near the bottom of the ribs, squeezing through the chest straight up to the ceiling and back down. So that is going to be the fifth movement. And then lastly, we're going to end with some um, quadruped opposites, otherwise known as bird dogs. So we're gonna be on the hands and our knees and sinking into those back hips a little bit. So pushing your butt back, reaching out one arm. Whoops. Make sure you have room, one arm, one leg, and then back down, other arm, leg, back down. So when we are extending here, we wanna make sure we're not lifting the leg so high up that our low back starts to curve. We wanna keep that nice and flat, core tight. That hip is pointed down towards the ground. So we're not open here, pointing towards the ground. So that is the full circuit that we will be doing today. So we can go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're gonna start off on the ground with that warm up with some quadruped rocking here. So we're gonna be on our hands and our knees and we're gonna get those hips nice and warmed up. So we're gonna start by rocking our glutes towards the heels, holding for a second or two and coming back up. You can take the knees as wide as you need to start to feel that in your hips to open everything up here. Just a couple more times. And one more here. Awesome, great job. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna get a nice little back stretch, get our, our upper body a little bit more warmed up. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna start with my right hand, threading the needle through my left arm, my left leg, pushing the back of the hand into the ground, pulling away with the upper back. So getting a nice upper back stretch. We're breathing nice and deep into the chest, feeling our upper back expand. 
And exhaling nice and slow. And on the next exhale, we can return to our starting position and do the same thing on the other side. So hand threading through in between the left arm or the right arm and the right leg. Pushing the hand into the ground, pulling away with the upper back. We should start to feel a stretch right underneath the shoulder blade here. And on the next exhale, returning to center. And we can go ahead and get started with the workouts. We are starting with the overhead presses here. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of transition time. I'll get the timer going here in three, two, one, and go. So we're starting with overhead presses. So starting with those dumbbells right above the shoulders, straight overhead and back down, making sure our core is tight, our back is flat. We're pushing through with our shoulders. We might feel a little bit in our back here today too, because our back is being pulled nice and tight. Our shoulder blades are together. So if you can see from this angle here, my making one straight line all the way from my toes, my feet through to my glutes, up through to my head. So we're nice and tall, nice and straight here, going at a good pace where we can maintain this for the whole 50 seconds. When a nice light grip on the dumbbells, elbows are slightly in, three, two, one. All right, next up, we're doing our jump squats. So you can do this with or without dumbbells, whatever feels better for you. Three, two, one. So if you have dumbbells, holding them at your sides as we squat down and jump up, landing nice and soft into our squat. Pushing the ground away from us, heel big toe, little toe. Making sure we're keeping our back flat core tight. Great job. Set those down. My legs are tired today, but that's okay. We're getting a good workout in, working on our explosiveness, leaning nice and soft, squeezing the glutes as we come up. You were in my exercise exos class yesterday. We did a lot of jumps and my legs are really tired. Three, two, one. All right, next up is bent over T. So I'm gonna do this without dumbbells today, but you can go ahead and use those dumbbells if you'd like. Three, two, one. We did these yesterday in total body strength and I trained my back already this morning. So I don't think I can do any more back movements today. So I'm gonna do these body weight when using body weight or lighter weight, it's really important to focus on the execution here and that mind to muscle connection. So we have perfect intent as we come up. So my pinkies are up towards the ceiling, driving those elbows up, squeezing through the rear delts. So this is great for posture work, really working on strengthening our upper back. So we'll be able to pull those shoulder blades back a little bit better. Three, two, one. Awesome. Up next, reverse lunge into that knee drive. We're doing 50 seconds on each leg separately. Three, two, one. So again, you can have those dumbbells um, if you would like. I highly do recommend using dumbbells for this to work on that explosive strength. But again, as I just said, I did already train today, this morning, and the two classes yesterday. My body's feeling it. And it's always good to make sure that we are paying attention to how we feel and not pushing ourselves any harder than we need to. Our bodies do need rest in order to build muscle, to recover, and even to lose weight. So more is not always better. Really important to pay attention to how we feel how we move that particular day and giving that 100% for what we have for that day. Three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds, then we're gonna switch over to the other side. Three, two, one. So stepping back, pushing through the ground, squeezing the glutes, driving that knee using the core.
we, as I said, we're giving our 100% that we have for that day within each session. And every day our 100% is gonna feel a little bit different based on how we felt going into the day and how we slept, what we ate, all that is gonna affect how our 100% is going to feel day to day. Great job driving with the core, pushing through that loop. Three, two, one. All right, up next we're gonna be laying on the ground, on our backs, four floor presses. Three, two, one. So elbows in. Dumbbells are starting at the bottom of our ribs. We're pushing up so our hands are directly above the shoulders. So the action of the chest is to bring our arms closer to the center of our body and also up. So that scooping motion, we're down to up, will really help us engage our chest a little bit more. So we're starting out lower, coming high, pushing the dumbbells towards the ceiling. Elbows nice and close. Great job, we got bird dogs after this. Three, two, one. All right, we got 10 seconds and we're transitioning into bird dogs. Then we'll start back at the top with our presses. Three, two, one. So opposite arm, opposite leg extending, sinking into the back hip. So my hips aren't forward, they're slightly back, making sure I've got stability in my legs. Squeezing the glutes as we extend, keeping our core tight so that way we don't overextend our leg. And then that way also we have our balance going too. We got headlights on our hips. Our hips are blinding the floor. Great job, we're almost there. Keep extending as far as we can. Three, two, one, great job. All right, we're gonna go through that one more time, starting with our overhead presses, three, two, one. Again, if you do not have dumbbells to use today, go ahead and do some pike push-ups. That is what you're doing today. Really pushing towards the ceiling with our dumbbells, using those shoulders. Again, everything is in one straight line. So at the minute we start to feel our back arching like this to get the weight overhead, the weight is too heavy. So really focusing on pressing as accurately and as good as we can. Like I said, proper intent. So we're intending to move the weight with just our shoulders. Keep breathing, keep pushing. Three, two, one. All right, up next, jump squats. Preferred with the weight. I will not be using weight, but you should be. Three two, one. So we have that weight holding the dumbbells by your side, squatting down, exploding up, pushing the ground away from us. Heel big toe, little toe, leaning nice and soft with the whole foot on the ground. So only jump as high as you can with landing properly. I'm being really soft today because it is early. I don't want to be making a lot of noise for my downstairs neighbor. So I'm just gonna regularly squat the rest of the time, but we are exploding up, jumping nice and soft, landing with our whole foot on the ground, like always, knees past the second toe, core tight, back flat. Three, two, one. All right, up next, bent over T's. So using those rear delts this morning, Three, two, one. So feet are shoulder width apart, push those hips back, hands forward, straight out to the side, driving the elbows and the pinkies up. 
Keeping our spine in line, that includes our neck. So we wanna keep our chin tucked, our head and our neck and our spine are all in one direction. Keep hitting that, I'm gonna turn this way. So out to the side like a T, pinkies are up, driving with the elbows, squeezing our rear delts, backs of our shoulders. Focusing on intent, keep pushing. Three, two, one. All right, up next, reverse lunge with the knee drive. Whichever leg you want to start with, go ahead. Three, two, one. But should be holding those dumbbells at our sides. As we step back, drive the knee up. Making sure we're using our core, not our hip flexors, to drive the knee up. Great job. My hip keeps popping. Really squeezing through the glute, exploding up using the core. It does help if you have your arms helping with you to help drive that action, hammering into the pretend there's a wall behind us, hammering that arm backwards. Three, two, one. 10 seconds transition, we are doing the other leg now. So I was on my left leg, now my right leg. Three, two, one. So stepping back, exploding up. Using the core, not the hip flexors. Making sure too when we step back, the foot is out to the side, not directly behind us. That's gonna make it a little bit harder and make the balance a little bit harder, which this is already hard enough movement with balance, right? We don't need to make it any harder on ourselves. Having that proper form, proper intent, squeeze the glutes, push the ground away from us. Heel big toe, little toe, exhaling as we bring that knee up, all the way in the front foot. Three, two, one, all right, up next, floor presses. Getting those dumbbells ready. Three, two, one. So squeezing through the chest. So at starting at the ribs, pushing on up. Keep those hands directly over the wrists. We don't want our wrists bending out. We want the wrist we're punching into the ceiling. Squeezing through the chest. It does help to exhale during the concentric motion, or um, you know, when we're pushing up, exhaling there will help with our explosiveness, which is great for athletic performance. Most sports are explosive here, so really focusing on exploding through the chest. Keep pushing, we're almost there. Three, two, one, all right, last thing here today, we got bird dogs, and then we'll cool down into our little mindset reset. Three, two, one, so we're sending opposite arm, opposite leg, and back down. Keeping the core tight, back is flat, we're not overarching. For keeping our core engaged. If you want to pretend like you got an apple sitting right on your stomach right here, you're going to crush that apple as we extend, squeezing the glutes. You want to have 100% perfect intent with these. Great job. We're almost there. We're finishing strong. Three, two, one, and we are done with the circuit today. Awesome job. We can go ahead and get a sip of water if you need it. I'm gonna grab a sip because talking and working out is a little hard for me sometimes. All right, 
And when we are ready, we can go ahead and make our way to the ground. And what we're gonna start with here is we're just gonna stretch out our chest a little bit. So we can go ahead and stay in this kneeling position, take our fingers, interlace them behind our back, push our knuckles into the ground, pulling them apart, getting a nice chest stretch since we did a lot of upper body stuff today. We're gonna start slowing down our breathing here. This is where we can start to take in and take an inventory of how our body feels, doing a nice body scan from head to toe. On the last exhale, we can go ahead and release. And then next we're gonna do some quad rocks here with that adductor stretch. So having that foot straight out to the side like a kickstand on our hands and our knees, heel big to little toe on the ground. And we're gonna rock back, hold for a second or two, squeeze the glutes and come up. So that way we're stretching out our hips after all that lower body movement we just did. And let's go do one more wherever we're at here. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. So left leg straight up to the side, leg kicks in, heel big to little toe. Tucking the pelvis, making sure our back is nice and flat. Squeeze the glutes to return to center. And you can hang out at the bottom as long or as short as you need. And last one, wherever we're at here. Awesome. All right, now we can go ahead and stay on the hands and knees. We can take the knees as wide as you would like. Walk those hands forward, sink so hips back into some child's pose here. So we're breathing nice and deep into the chest or into the belly. Sorry, feeling that low back expand. In through the nose, out through the mouth. With each exhale, sinking deeper into the ground and really making sure our exhales are longer than our inhales. So what that's going to do is it's going to help us really focus on getting our breath rate down, getting our heart rate down. And as we exhale, again, just really making some mental notes with each exhale, because as you sink further into the ground, you can tell maybe areas of your body that are tight. Maybe you're noticing that one hip is tighter than the other. Maybe this is where you realize that your back is really tight or your upper body is really tight. So just making a mental note of how you're feeling, what your energy levels are like, where your body is tight, and maybe where you need to focus on your energy throughout the rest of the day. So as we're doing a nice body scan, we're breathing into the tight areas. And now to do a little bit of visualization to start the day. So you can stay in child's pose here. I think it's helpful or you can lie on your back, whatever position is comfortable for you to close your eyes and relax. As we close our eyes, we're still inhaling into the belly through the nose and exhaling, sighing away that tension through the mouth. We're gonna to start to visualize the perfect day for us today. What our weekend's gonna look like. And with that vis visualization, we can start to imagine what our body is gonna feel like, what our energy is gonna feel like. And you know what we're gonna bring to the table for other people today, but also for ourselves. May is also Mental Health Awareness Month. So really making sure too, when you are picturing your perfect and ideal day that 
you're picturing some time to yourself and you're picturing some time to take care of what you need to take care of and making sure that we're doing what's necessary for our bodies and our minds to recover day to day and to help us prevent some burnout. So I know I personally am feeling pretty burnt out by this point of the year. So I think that's, you know, a good reminder for all of us to make sure that we take, to take some time away from work, you know, maybe taking a, a nice little vacation or a weekend trip just to get away, to get some relaxation and some self-care. And, you know, self-care is going to look different to everyone, but just, you know, imagine yourself living your best life and what that's going to look like and how you can create that for yourself. Nice, big, deep breaths. Sighing away the tension. Sighing away our stress. And, you know, speaking into existence what we want to accomplish today, tomorrow, next week, this month. You know, it's the first week of a new month. It's a great time to focus on a new goal or really just reset and make sure we're on track to reach the goal that we want to reach. So we're just imagining and visualizing all of this happening, manifesting it, living our best life, our ideal day. We're going to do a few more deep breaths here. And let's do one more big inhale. Slowly exhaling. We're slowly going to wake the body up. So if you're in child's pose, slowly coming up onto your hands and your knees. And we're turning to seated, kneeling, or standing. But that is going to be all the time I have for this morning for Sports Performance and Mindset Reset. So thank you for joining me. I hope that Mindset reset you're able to visualize some good things for the day and the weekend um, don't forget we do have one more live class today we have functional fitness friday and guided breathing with Luis today at 12 and we do have our virtual blood drive happening so that's going to be starting in june but definitely book your appointment today we are also doing some office wars competition so it's san francisco one market versus pier nine versus 300 mission versus san rafael so definitely don't or sign up to donate today for your appointment in June. Help save a few lives. And we also do have Design to Run starting today, but registration is open all the way through the 17th. So don't forget to sign up for that. Sign up sooner than later. Um, and you can find both of those on our SharePoint site. The third thing that we have coming up is our Buy to Wherever Day. So that's on the 21st of this month. You can also find out more information on our SharePoint site. So thank you for joining me. I hope we have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you soon.